Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and in today's video, me and my teammate will be playing through Harry Carey Blades of Honor. This is a brand new game coming to Kickstarter from Syndicate Games. It is a one to four player game that takes roughly an hour and a half to two and a half hours to play. It is a fully cooperative adventure campaign narrative game. So in this one, you are going to be playing different heroes that have come together for a common cause, but you each also have your ulterior motives to be going on this quest. So you'll also have individual quests that you'll be working through and growing as you play through the game. And this is a narrative cam campaign game, so you're going to have a narrative at the beginning to set the mood, and then as you go on different quests and different things, you're going to have to make tough decisions, and each one of those decisions you make is going to have consequences, both good and bad, that are going to impact the rest of the campaign as you play through it. For your characters, each character will grow and expand as the campaign goes, leveling up, gaining new abilities, and all kinds of other things. So in this video, we're going to be playing through, showing you the first, middle, and then few turns to help you decide on whether or not this is one you want to back. And we'll cover both the adventure phase and the exploration phase, which is going to be more of the dungeon crawling aspect to the game, where the adventure phase is, is this overarching map where you're going to be moving around trying to complete different quests and different things based on the scenario you've chosen to play. So other than that, if you want to just check out an overview video, I'll have a link up in the top corner to that where I'll just cover the main features of the game and then show you an example of turn of both the adventure phase and the exploration phase. I also do want to point out that all the materials you see here are prototype materials and are subject to change. They look a lot better in the final production copy of the game. So as always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button, subscribing to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow and build and produce this content. If you want to stay on all my videos, also considering that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new stuff as I'm always releasing new videos. Also, let me down know in the comments down below if there's any other games that you'd like to see me cover or other videos that you'd like to see me make. Now, before getting into the video, there is a couple of mistakes that we did make in filming this one. So I will point those out with some text in the different areas where we made some little mistakes, uh, especially with the boss. We did not understand with the wrath token that is also going to add to his attack. So he would have been even more punishing as a couple of our characters had taken some good damage on a couple of turns who were off camera. And I was able to heal them back up, but there was a point where Akira was down to one hit point left. And so we would have definitely lost at least a couple of our characters in trying to complete that scenario so just keep that in mind as you watch I will point out a couple of areas where we did make a couple of mistakes but definitely that boss was going to be even nastier than he even was when we faced him so let's go ahead and head to the table and we'll see how this one plays all right so we're ready to jump into it now and we're going to go ahead and start off with the first round so at the beginning of each round you're going to have to adjust your round track except for the first round so we don't have to do that here and then you're going to adjust your influence track based on the scenario you're playing so with this particular one is going to have us increase it by two each round then you're going to reveal a shogun card and we have the shadow lurks it seems that the shogun's followers are everywhere and there's no way to shake them off so with this one, we're going to have to consult our influence track and determine where this is. So right now we're in green, so all paths are considered dangerous. But if we go into yellow or red, then this is going to affect us even more. So luckily, we got that one early. The final step in this process would be to move any enemies that are out on the board. So currently we don't have any that we have to worry about. So then it's going to move into our turns to go. So we have to decide how we're going to do this, who we're going to activate first, and what kind of strategy we're looking at. So I don't know, what do you think? I'm, I'm thinking we might want to make a group move to one of the major cities to start getting us going here. What do you think? Does it matter what I think? Of, of course it does, it always matters. <laughs> you want to do a group, group move where? Um, I don't know, what do you think? This might put us in a good central location that we can start getting at some of these different so down, down to Kyoto? Yeah. Sure, let's okay. do that. We should probably also cover that we have one mission that's active right now. So we have the Cursed Leader. With this one, we're trying to make our way down to Mission 9. And as we go down there, we can deposit our Kami to start building that up. And we need to have at least eight uh, points there in order to be successful in this particular mission. So we'll eight have to points? Work eight eight of the Kami points. Okay. So, and each one of us can go there and drop off stuff or we can share with each other and collectively place it there. So that's our, that's our main priority mission for that. 
So maybe Tomoe will go with the the group, and then take her turn as the the, the lead. You want her the lead? Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. That's okay. So character. from there, um, we would determine our uh, each character's movement. So each character, when they move, they have to spend a token. They get three action um, or movement points, and then each one of the points here will give them one additional movement point. So right now I have four there. Uh, you have four as well because you've got uh, this gives the this Tengu's particular item yeah feather cape plus gives one plus one on that and Hattori also has one additional yeah so he'll also have four so the monk unfortunately does not he doesn't he did not select one in that so he's gonna go ahead and stay behind so he doesn't slow the group down because <laughs> otherwise we have uh, one two three four will get us there uh, if we go with him then he uh, slows us down we won't quite make it and we cannot spend extra action points as a group to um, move farther. I like, normally, how, I like how you make it sound like he made the choice when you're, it's your character <laughs> you made that choice. Of course. So we're gonna go Blaming ahead and move. Him. Yeah. Oh, the monk. And that costs one action for everybody since we Correct. didn't group move, right? Yep. So Now the other benefit to that is normally whenever we travel and uh, with the Shogun's effect, we would have to draw a road card to determine what kind of ill effects happen to us but it is it, since we're traveling as a group we don't have to worry about that and we don't have to resolve a card so that's uh definitely helps as well strengthening numbers i suppose yes so from there since we activated as a group it'll be down to the three of us that will have to complete our actions so Tome has to do hers first so she's gonna go ahead and spend an action to go to the market so go ahead and reveal three market cards for me please and let's see what we get hopefully something good so we have a minor hammer Poison. Suchinoku's poison mm. and Nui's poison. Mm -hmm. You're a lot of poison. We do. I think I'll buy the hammer. So can I have 20 gold instead? We have a couple of hammers to make some repairs. Here's 15. Okay. And there's 20. All right. Thank you. And then I'm gonna, I won't buy those. So those will just be shuffled back into the market deck. In my last action, I'm going to go ahead and rest or uh, work since I'm in town, so I get two gold for that. And that will finish off her turn, so then it'll move over to one of your characters to go since they also traveled. Now, that also doesn't allow me to do anything. I'm stuck there. Yes, you cannot do another move action, but you can interact with the town, so you can go to the blacksmith and potentially uh, build up another item. We probably don't have enough money for that. Uh, you could go to the inn to heal, but right now we're full health. Or you can go to the market, can or just, you can you can work. Can't I just have a bottle of sake and party? <laughs> Your Kyoto's hopping. Um, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and work. Okay, so you can do might that well once. Do that. You'll get two coins. And might as well just do it for all the characters because I don't think we're well. Yeah. And then oh, did you want to go to the her. market? I Make suppose I will action. go to the market. Okay. So let's see. That's my last action, right? Yes. Grasshopper spell, sacred water, and Kodama's essence. Hmm. Reroll the dice, wish from one roll, recover four health, or shift two spaces. I'm trying to remember. So we're trying to gather as many of our action points. Okay. Kami's right. Mm -hmm. So it seems like the sacred water might be valuable. Well, the real roll might be valuable too. Yeah, it's, they're both good. And Which the shift spaces is good too, though. Yes. Well, that one and that one's going to be more for the uh, exploration phase, um, but that lets you go through um, spaces that normally you couldn't go through. Right. So, so I can technically go through a wall. Or mm -hmm obstacles mm -hmm. um the way i roll sometimes i'm not sure that's worth it i think i'll just take the recover okay so that'll be 10 these will go back in the pile and i'll get 15 back and this will go back in the pile correct and then it's to your last character did you already move all your characters? Oh, wait. No, he has to go after because he didn't move as a group, so we have to resolve all of the, the group stuff first before we can go with him. 
He's going to be quick, though. <laughs> wow. All right, fine. Well, this one's going to be working, too. Okay. So I'll take two coins, and then I'll go to the market again. Okay. <laughs> Suchinofu is poison. Poison. That's your thing that came back up again, I think. Yep. Ebisu's on the Mari. Oh, wait. Let me pull one more before I decide. And a hammer. Okay. And that repairs two armor points, I'm assuming? Defense? Yes. Yeah, because there'll be certain things that uh, will happen which will cause your armor to drop uh, throughout the game. Um, so that lets you repair up. The DC is on the Mori that repairs one armor point per turn. Yeah, that's a whopper, though. That's a 50, 50 banger. You don't have the gold for that just yet. I'm not quite sure why we would want, why would we want that. I mean, this one repairs two. Uh, well, this is per, per turn. turn. Yeah, so that... Uh, Hmm. And that must be an ongoing piece. Not that I have enough to I guess I will. Yes. And I do have two minor hammers, so if you want to save your gold and not spend, you don't you don't have to either. Right. I'm to just you. trying to figure. So this adds a certain po uh, poison to an attack. And that only probably benefits. Well, I will wait. Okay. All right, so that takes care of your characters. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here with my monk. I'll spend my first action to move, which lets him move three spaces. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then I'm gonna spend an additional two actions to move two more spaces. Then I have to resolve a road card, and I did go through the more treacherous things. Either way, it wouldn't have mattered because of the uh, Shogun's card, so... So we do a red regardless, then? We it? have a red, yes. It's a dangerous path. What? You sound I so find? excited. You sound so excited. <laughs> Hopefully, All it's right. not too bad. Drawing from the bottom. Ford. So after a long stretch along the bank of a wide river, you finally find a ford that allows you to cross it. You don't hesitate and enter the calm, crystal clear waters where an unpleasant surprise awaits you. <laughs> Not in vain, as you were being stalked by a fierce kappa, which suddenly falls on you with the intention of tearing you to pieces, which is an ambush. Okay, so I'm going to have to do a test. Yep. So if you're successful, you gain one head and one kami. All right. Uh, if you aren't, you take six damage. Oof. All right, so in order to do this test, I'm going to check my weapon, and I have to do the, the strong attack for this. So it's going to be a white, a green, and a red die. And then I get to add one strength from my skill, my strength skill. All right, come Good on. Good luck, sir. Let's see. You wanted to go solo. Oh, I got it. So four, five, and zero, plus, plus the one, one for six. So I was successful. So I'm going to get uh, a head and a... Here's comment. your head. Thank you. And here's your comment. So with the uh, heads, when you go to town, you can sell those for 10 gold apiece. So that'll help uh, start building up my gold storage um so that is all i can do there is i've spent all my actions so that will conclude the round so then we'll get our tokens back so does this get shuffled back or we just leave it out um, it'll be it'll be placed in a discard pile okay so yeah. this is my discard pile though. yeah all right um and you'll get yours uh your um action, action back. back yep all right, and then we would go ahead and start a new round. So I think we're going to take a round off camera, and then we'll be back on round three to see how things are going. All right, so we're back after last round. We were able to complete our cargo mission already. So we have one mission completed at this point, uh, and then we also have the new beginnings where the monk right now is trying to uh, escort a lady to that city there. Iga. Iga. So he's on his mission there where he has to travel by safe paths to get there. So he's gonna it's going to take him a couple more turns. And we have our other characters kind of branching out here. We do have an enemy out on the board right now that is trying to stop our other character from making it there with his his person. So we're ready to move into the next round. So Which person is that? Oh, Hikaru? Uh, yes. So we have to move it up. So we're round three. This is going to advance two. So now we're in yellow. So that's not good. And we have without a trace. 
Uh, the energy of the Shogun that dwells within his followers consumes them completely upon death, leaving no trace. So fallen enemies, uh, when an enemy dies, each head explodes, causing one damage to characters in that location. So we gotta be Way to draw a nice one. A. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then the last step is for the enemy to move. So each enemy is going to move three spaces, and he's moving to the space that's closest to... Our characters are one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's going to go here. All right. Uh, then it moves into our turns to choose our order. So what do you think? Um, well, I'm already at an objective. I think maybe... It doesn't matter, actually. It doesn't matter. Because it ultimately, we're, I'm sort of it either way. So I guess it doesn't matter to me. All right. So I'll go with Hikaru first. Yep. All right. So I'm going to spend an action to move. So I'm going to get to move three spaces. One, two, three. Why are you moving closer? Well, I got to get here. <laughs> so I'll spend my last two, four, and five. And then it is a safe path. So can you reveal a safe card for us? No, I'm going to reveal a dangerous one. Of course. Safe card. As night begins to fall, you look for a place to camp. Then, you see some lights in the distance and decide to go closer to investigate. To your surprise, you come to a meadow full of fireflies. Beautiful creatures that fill you with peace from their glow. You gain one kami, okay. and you recover three health. Nice. Which you I have not taken any damage, damage yet, yet so. so... Can we save that for later? No, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And... Actually, I think I'm going to take one step back, and when I pass through the town, I think I'm going to uh, spend the action to sell my head. So I get 10 gold from that. So I'm going to go ahead and give you 15, and I'll get 25. 25. Here we go. Thanks. All right, that will complete his turn. So then it's back to us to decide who we want to go next. As he did not eliminate any enemy enemies to have their heads explode, um, we don't have to worry about that particular thing for that character. Um, I guess I maybe I can move Akira down four. Okay. I think that's one, two, three, four. Uh, not a direct path. No, one. Two, three, four. Okay. And then one more would be five. So that would be two. Well, sorry. That's yeah. Where, yeah, I got to put that back anyways. So that would be two. Okay. Yep. So and he will be there. here. And then I will go ahead. All right. So your last action will be, oh, we got to do the uh, path. Yeah, path first. And I did a dark, I uh, dug it back Dangerous. <sighs> disoriented. Uh-oh. To your misfortune, you are lost. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> you don't know well, you where... you are blind. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you don't know where you are. Well, he's not blind. He's just he's just covering his eyes. Oh, okay. We'll it's, like, it's like the old school sunglasses. <laughs> you don't know where you are, and you are surrounded by a thick forest that you don't know. Thus, time passes slowly, without you being able to get out of that grove. The provisions you carry with you run out and you start to feel more and more exhausted. So when you are attacked by a group of soldiers, you can barely put up any resistance. You are, have a lock. Okay, so this is, uh, we have to make a, um, a test. You're going to roll the orange die. If you roll uh, equal to or greater than that value, you're okay. If not, then you have been trapped and you'll have to move to the closest city. And then you'll, you'll have to wait until your next turn to try to break free. So it says I have, a, you are, so I'm trapped, or I have three. Yeah, so you have to roll, and if you roll three or better, you're okay. We're good. You're good. <laughs> and so you're not trapped. Okay, and I receive three damage. Yes, and there's no avoiding that, so three down. Man. All right. Okay, you got uh, your last action, so now that was to trigger that. So we'll yes, resolve I'm triggering it. Number this. four? Number four, so... The beast. The beast. Attacks by a dangerous creature are decimating the herds around Gojo. Okay. Investigate the event. Follow the trail of the beast. Check your map, number 27. Okay. Uh, 
And this, of course, all of the all this stuff is prototype, so you will have actual books and everything else, not uh, just printed paper. All right, so we have 27 is the Trail of the Wounded Bear. Seems to be heading north of Gojo. Uh, place a clan token on the red marked space, so right here. And continue reading mission card eight. So I get mission card eight. I don't like this. Mm -hmm. The Beast Part Two. Mm. The trail leads to a cave located deep in a forest that the locals are cleaning are clearing. Decide the fate of the creature. I'm trying to cover it so I don't. Okay. Let's see whatever happens here. What kind of choices? Yeah. Well, it, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't tell me. It just gives me options. Add an interaction token at the marked location. Check your map. 29. Okay. Which is, so, I'm actually, I think we're going to have to make it here first before we potentially resolve that. Is there any, Was there anything else on card four that we had to deal with? It says uh, I have a dexter uh, intelligence, I guess. Okay. Uh, scout, I have three. Game. Scout, gain a re-roll. Re okay. Yeah, so go ahead and resolve that. How do I do that? So you're going to roll the orange die and then add this value to it. So you'll get one plus whatever you so want. So I have to do three or better. Yep. So two or better will complete it. <laughs> there we got go. it. <laughs> exactly. So two. you're going to get a re-roll, and then because you're successful... Um, Conclusions, uh, a successful so seven. Okay. So I gain a reroll. How do I keep track of that? Just remember it at this point? Yeah, I believe there's tokens for it. I'll have to take a look and see. We'll set um, that. You have no trouble finding the trail of the beast. It seems to belong to the bear in that the villagers managed to wound. Now you would draw card eight. Okay. That would show... Trail is a cave located deep yeah, in a so forest. That's, that's where we'll have to get to next to trigger that part. Oh, I actually have to move there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say that. <laughs> all right well then i guess i will hold because I, I don't have any more movements okay all right um yeah and that'll finish off your turn so then we have um tomo and hattori Tori. so what do you want to you want to go with him sure okay what do you think i should well let me go ahead and interact with number nine then right yeah that's this one here so oh. you're basically just going to be dropping off um your uh, kami. Yep. So make an offering to the kami. Spend a total of eight, which I just don't. Um, yeah. So you just place those on top off. of there. Yep. So we've we've got three down. We've got five more to go. All right. Okay. Uh, so that was your first action. You got yeah. two left. What should I do? Um, well, we have that guy bearing down on on us pretty heavily here. Well, you should have ran away. You ran towards One, him. Two. Hmm. One, two. Yeah. I was just seeing if there was any way you could go here so I could share with you. Because um, she's got one. But it one, looks like it's going to be probably too two. far to do both. It's not a cost for to share, right? No, it's a it's a free thing that you can do. You can actually interrupt your movement as well to do it, and then continue moving afterwards. But yeah, I think it's unfortunately too far. So well, let me one, let me reverse two, that. Three, How about four, I move to five, you five, first six, yeah. to change trade, and then come back and do the interaction to drop off, and then I have one move to move over to him, and that would trigger an attack. Well, the, the interaction when you interact with this that will cut your movement, so you won't be able to continue moving afterwards. Oh, yeah. So I think we'll just have to, we'll have to figure out a different way to get to her. So, yeah, why don't you go ahead and head over there and hopefully finish him off so we don't fail that, that mission. And that'll be, that'll get us almost there. So the interaction stops any movement. Mm -hmm. And I have a single time to use movement, that's it. So, yeah. Okay. But I could, I could possibly move up there with the monk. Because I can go through the the town first, right? And he's I got think three? as soon as I move in, yeah, as soon as I move in, I think that'll complete this quest. Because I don't think it's uh, I don't think I have to spend an action to do so. Uh, yeah, yep. so I think Let's I could do that. I could potentially do that, and then and uh, then it'll be good. I say we do that. Okay. 
and then he can come down afterwards and that will give us four unless I pick up another one from here which might finish that mission completely. So that could be really good. So he moves three, right? Uh, towards you. Move you. four total. No, I'm saying him. Oh, yes. Yeah, and if he gets in the so same if space, you're gonna, ambushes. If you move, mm -hmm. would that trigger him chasing you down anyways? Because no. you'd be completing it. That's true. Uh, well, I moved this turn already, so he's done. Gotcha. All right. Here's my... Okay. So now it's an attack. So you're going to roll uh, your dice there. I have two green, a white, and a red. And then you're going to add plus two to that. So you just need three successes to, to finish him off. Oh, you have a red dice in this pile, so... Oh, yeah, and you're, you and your red dice. Ooh, we got four. So we did... You did pass, so you're going to get... No a head's, head's going to explode and do a boom. wound to you. <laughs> yep, you're welcome. I'm going to go help you. Yep. Because you're a monk. Yep. You have to go do your thing. All right. And, All right. yeah, you're out in the middle of nowhere, so you could rest and heal a wound uh, as an action. Um, Stupid, I can't run back. Yep. Yeah. All right, I rest, heal the wound, bum bum. Okay. All right, so then it's uh, Tomo to go, and she's going to go ahead and do a move action. To move here, it's going to be a safe path. Did I have to do, do a path? I didn't do a path for him, by the way. You didn't, didn't you? No, I didn't. Uh -oh. Let's do that right now. Because <laughs> I think that was so, a, so it's a dangerous dangerous path. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Wait, let me move that back because I didn't rest yet. So let's see, wishing, oh, sanctuary, wishing to find some peace, you enter a small temple by the roadside. The pleasant smell of incense makes you relax and instantly your mind is lost in a strange reverie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we call that something else here. But unfortunately, the shrine is cursed and after falling into the clutches of the creature that corrupts it, you would have to pay for it. Mm-mm. Keep this card. When you're going to suffer two damage from an event, you will receive another two damage. Ooh. So a total of four. Okay. Is that a one-time issue that happens, or every time I suffer two? Yikes. It doesn't say. Yeah. It says keep this card, so I'm, Ooh. I can't get rid of it. Yeah, we'll have to figure out how to get rid of those. But it's only when you take two damage. Is it two or more? Or? Two uh, two or two or better. No, when you are going to suffer damage from an event, you will receive plus oh, two damage. Okay. Okay. So three. Okay. Three. And we're gonna rest. Yep. So you'd actually take two additional damage for that. So you're down to ten. Because you would have taken three total, then, wouldn't it? Wouldn't you? Have? From the explosion. Since you have that card. It's now? from an event. Did it? Was that from an? Was that count as an event? Hmm. When an enemy dies, each head explodes, causing one. Is that an, what's an, the event? I guess I have to define what the event is. That's so. true. Um. Yeah. So table rule. What do we? What do you think? Well, you already know what I'm gonna say. I'm saying that <laughs> no! is. I'm saying that's not an event. That's that's a that's a a, a round roll is how I would look at it. That's fair. I can go with that. I mean, because I would assume an event would have to be. That one might of be these, like, right? Yeah, that could have been. It could be one of the. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's what I will say. Okay. So we'll go with that. I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so that's that'll finish off the round then. Yep. And that is everybody. Oh, I know. I I was up here. Yep. You had to finish that. Okay. So spend the second. Wait. To did we read your thing though? Oh no, we didn't. We haven't done that yet. So I need a safe road. Of course, you get the safe road. I'm good I should have gave you. I should have <laughs> gave you that one. <laughs> Man, that would have been, that probably would have actually been good. Yeah, I know. For 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 me or for you? <laughs> no, for me. The the, the for, other side of that's probably positive. Well, I know. Uh, should we look? <laughs> <laughs> I'll look with it later. Okay. Uh, garden. The rain catches you in the middle of the road. When you seek shelter under a group of trees, you discover a Tory gate. The gate provides access to a garden of incredible beauty where you can breathe in total peace. I could have used this one. If you have three <laughs> or more kami, you recover all your health. Oh, man. Which you have no damage. That doesn't matter. Yeah. 
Otherwise, you gain one kami. Hey, all right. Cool. Yeah. Whatever. Well, that gets us the five that we potentially need. Unfortunately, she's way up there. So, second action, I'm going to go and interact with this card. So, uh, we'll <laughs> this would have been nicer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, has, it says if I got damage, I would just return my health, thus oh, avoiding danger. Nice. But, so, this one causes danger. Okay. Uh, card two. Okay. At all costs. Mm -mm. Shogun's troops' movement has been seen in the vicinity of Nagoya. Okay. Oh. So defend Nagoya. Add six health tokens and three Shikomi miniatures in Nagoya. That's the ladies here. Yes. The birdies. Okay. I'm just gonna put them down. Interact with the crossbows on the wall by spending one attack point. You re may repeat this action. Um, the intelligence, I believe that's it, is right. Intelligence. Or is uh, that, uh, it's like diplomacy or something like that. Yeah. I think. Uh, four, leader plus one. If you're successful, remove one miniature. If okay. you aren't, receive six damage. At the start of each round, remove one resistance token for each shikome in Nagoya. The mission ends when there are no shikomes on resist or resistance token left. Okay. So at this point, I don't have anything else that I can really do. She's fully healed, so, um... So that will be the end of the round. So they're going to damage it for three. So it's got three hit points left. So I got to get over there next turn and handle some of them. But I should be good. So I need to leave this out until we're done, right? Yeah. All right. So then we'll get our tokens back. And we get to move into a new round. So we'll advance that marker one. That goes up two. And then we have the calm before the storm. There's no effect. So we lucked out. Woo. Yeah. Woo woo. So we're in the yellow? Yes, we are. Nice. Closing in on red quick here. Do something then. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, it's back to us to decide how we want to go. Is our, There's no enemies out right now that will move. Like they're going to stay there trying to attack that. So they're not moving. So then it goes into our turns. So what do you think? I could... Go with the monk and finish that quest. That'll give us our second quest. I would quest. say go ahead and do that. All right. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll move. So one, two. That completes the quest. So um, was it? You go to Yutabi or Amaterasu? Amaterasu? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, no. You had to go to Ego. 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 Yeah. So that's going to resolve. Uh, you escorted Akiko one. to Ego. So you managed safely to bring Okoyo. Is that how, she is? how do you say her name? Akiko? Akiko? Okay. To her destination. Uh, the resistance will take care of her from now on. I get 60 gold and two kami. Wow. So that he's up to five. I could actually finish location Not, yeah. nine. That's might as well. I can't do that now. Is and it? 60 gold. So we got two. There's 50. And 60. Wow. He's got a lot of gold. Oh, silver. All right. Silver and gold. You got lots for, of money. For a monk, you have a lot of money. All right. And it doesn't say that that... Um... Oh, and the Shogun's uh, influence goes down by one for consequences. Cool. And it doesn't say that that um, costs an action or anything, so I'm going to assume that I could keep moving. So I had one movement point left, so I'm going to move here. Oh, I do... I was... Here, yep. right? One, two. So I do have to. Well, I'm not technically done yet. So I'm gonna go there, and then I'll spend one to move here. You went through. I do go through dangerous there, danger. so I'm gonna have to handle that. So I hopefully, know you're, I know hopefully this won't end my turn. If it doesn't, then I can actually complete this the, the, our main quest too. Otherwise, I know, I know we're on the turn. same team, but kind of. <laughs> oh, that massacre! Oh no. You enter a thick forest where you are forced to cover your nose and mouth in order to avoid the unbreathable stench that surrounds you. It smells bad. You reach a small clearing where you discover a whole herd of deer cruelly slaughtered. Oh. Undoubtedly, they have become victims of some ruthless creature and you are its new prey. Mm -mm. Ambush, seven. Ooh. If you are successful, you gain two heads and one kami. 
If you haven't, if you aren't, you receive five damage, become delayed, and your turn ends. Um, these heads don't count as explosions, right? No, oh, no, we were, were finished yeah. that. So, okay, so uh, I need a white, green, and red die, and I am Let's plus two up. to my rolls, so I need a, I need five successes here. You need five or better. Yeah, uh, five or better, because I got one here and I got one there. That's two. Yeah, so I need five more on my dice to oh, for seven. pull this off. Yep. I got you. No, my math is not working. Hey, well, you know, I got it. So I got eight from that. Plus, I get one here and one there. So I was successful. So what happens? You gain two heads and one kami. Holy cow. I'll just flip this one over. I hate your luck. <laughs> okay. I still think you should have got this other one. So my last action, I'll go ahead and spend there to deposit these tokens onto that location. And I do get to keep one because we only needed eight there. So that'll finish off that mission. So what, uh, what do we do with that? Cursed leader. Conclusion number 25. 25. So you spent an action token, right? To yes, make, okay. correct. Yep. You managed to save Ibuki. The leader shows you the location of the secret resistance camp. I gain three Kami tokens. Kami. I'll give me one more. Just one, because I flip it over. Wow, he is, he's got all the points. So my next turn, I could actually spend an action or to cash that in, because I'm at, no, I'm not. I have to move up. To move up. Okay. He's uh, such a greedy monk. Yeah, <laughs> and then I, we get to drop the the uh, influence again. So that's good. All right. So that will finish off that. So we're down. We've got three missions completed. We've got pretty much one more turn to pull it off. We need one more mission to be successful. One more. Yeah. So, All right. Um, so that was his turn. And so it's over to us again to choose who's going to go next. So I could start working on them if you want, or one of you, or one of you guys can go. I was going to move go, uh, Akira over to uh, Issei over there for the last mission. Well, we still you still working on that one too? If you want to oh, finish the beast, shoot! I have to in order to get that. <sighs> All right. That's so what you, I'll do. Or you no, could, no, no. or you I'll, could go there. You don't have to complete that. I one. am there. No, I'm because this one might be good too. But if I do that one, then that's one less, and we can kind of run up that way. Oh wait, we don't have to finish that. Yeah, okay. I mean, you don't. You could nope, just, let's just bypass. Let's finish the beast. Okay. Since I'm already in the story. Okay. <laughs> um. Wait. This goes over here. So let's see here. So I'm at the beast. That's one action, by the way. Okay. Was that there? And you have to do a, a move, or so you got uh, dangerous stuff. Dang it! All the danger. Well, there's no option. I had to go through a forest. So. Yeah. Uh, I'll just read a green one up by accident. <laughs> okay. So the red. It's a well. Before you lies a seemingly normal well. Well. It's never normal. <laughs> never, never normal. But when you try to draw water, something pulls at you with a clear <laughs> intention of dragging you to the bottom. Oh. So I have that. Okay. Uh, that is, I don't, I don't remember what that is. Um, it's like me meditation. Spiritual? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So uh, I need a four. Okay. So you get a plus one of that. So you need a three yep. or better. You managed to free yourself from the spirit that was trying to go down. But though gain one. Okay. If I do. All right. So orange die. Let's see what we get. Six. Oh. Two. Three. That is a fail. Uh oh. <sighs> you fall help. You fall helplessly and receive six damage. Although you are rescued and can continue, you become delayed and your turn ends. Oof. Well, that's not good. Yep. Well, that's uh, best laid plans, I guess. Um, but that finishes this, though, right? No. No, it doesn't. Because we haven't Oh, I haven't even yeah. done that. <laughs> Wait, did it say? 
You fall, help it receive six. Although you are rescued, it can continue. You become delayed in your... Oh, so I can't yeah. do nothing else. Yeah, so that'll wipe out his stuff. So then it's... Uh, so that goes back. Oh, no, that's just with her. So, so you will go with Hattori? Yep. Right. I guess Hattori is going to be running to something. And you could head over there. One, two, three, four, five. One, we two, need... Oh, well, uh, yeah, because we've got this one going still. Yeah. This one going still. Yep. So, yeah, you could head over there, or I could go next with uh, Tomona and see how I do with that. Yeah, let's see how you do first. Okay. And maybe I'll run over and assist. If so I have to spend an action to move here. It is a safe path. All right, so I, we're going to need a safe path here. <laughs> For you. Come on, something good. What did we get? It's another bad one for you. Oh, That's all I'm saying. No. But of course it's green. <laughs> monkeys. Oh, yeah. Never trust the monkeys. The monkeys that live in this part <laughs> of Japan are said to be really aggressive. Unfortunately, you find out the hard way. <laughs> oh, no. When one of these animals falls on you and tries to bite you. So you have an attack with three. Okay. Um, although it gives you... Uh, if you're successful, you can shake it off. If not, you'll take five damage. So. Okay. So it's uh, I have plus one to that, so I need a two or better. Ha ha! I was successful. What do I get? Although it gives you a few scratches, as it, as it shrieks madly, you manage to shake it off. Okay. That's, that's so no, no, no bad effects. Okay. All right. So that was my first action. So my second action, I'll go ahead and spend to do the attack. So I am a leader. With my skill here. So I get plus one to that. So it's going to be... So I need a three or better on the die. Yep. To succeed. So let's see what happens here. It's a three. So I eliminate one. I will gain a head for defeating it. I think that should blow up in your face. Yeah. And I'll go ahead and spend my last action to do that again. And I'm successful. So there's another one. Get another head. And that is uh, her turn. So we got one enemy left in there. So I should hopefully be able to finish them off next round. So it's just over to, to uh, Tori. What you uh, what you doing over there? Okay. Spend my two actions. All right. We have Let's a negative there. event. Boom, boom, boom. And this is the one with the curse on it. <laughs> oh, this is a negative event. This is just a path. I haven't done yeah. the event yet. Yeah. When you come across a group of soldiers, why can't I get something like a fog? Yeah. <laughs> when you come across a group of soldiers beating a stranger, you approach and discover that he is a Ronin. I wonder if that's Akira. <laughs> um, apparently, he is being punished for showing his loyalty to the missing emperor. So you do not hesitate to intervene to help him. So I have to roll a five or better attack. You are plus one for that. Oh, uh, that's not attack. I'm sorry. That was uh, speed, right? Yeah, that's so you have speed. to roll the orange, and you'll need a four or better since you're plus one. <laughs> I end up beaten and take two damage. Oh, man. So you're going to take four? That doesn't count as an event. That's right. We, yeah. Okay. Stop. Why? <laughs> why? This is why. This is, this is why. I, 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 this is why when it, even when, it's, when we're playing as a team, I wish <laughs> such such anger and, and <laughs> bad karma on you. Why won't you die? <laughs> All right. All right. So you got one action left. Yep. And I will go ahead and... Interact with okay. number three. Number three. Haha, <laughs> I don't know if I can do this one. No, why not? I don't know. It says knowledge is power. I don't have much knowledge. Mm, we'll see. Knowledge is power. A member of the resistance has discovered some clues that point to the possible whereabouts of the spy. Look for him in the city of Ise. I'm already there. Yep. Yeah. Get the information. Travel to Ise to search for new clues. Okay. And I have to roll a three or better to find the trail for the informant. Okay. But so, I can't do that until next one. So. No, you can. You're already there. 
So I oh. figured just continue on with it. Okay. Well, then I guess I have to roll an orange. Hey, you got it. Woo. All right. So uh, what's the conclusion number? is number 17. Number 17. Uh, let's see. You managed to calm down a woman and speak with her. The Shogun's guards just broke into the market and tried to take Kanji. The poor guy escaped and went back to his place. Who knows what will happen when they find him? She shows you the way to Kanji's. Read paragraph 19. So you find your way to Kanji's and see three of the Shogun's guards standing at the door. You obviously are outnumbered. If you have the stealth trait, which you do, you are stealthy. Um, sneaky, sneaky. You manage to enter quietly without being noticed. Read 24. So 24. You manage to get Kanji out of the city and to safety. He gives you a new clue to the whereabouts of the spy. You get 40 gold and you get a Kami token and two heads. You also reduce the influence by one, so we're back into green now, so that's good. And we get to mark uh, that we're informed, which is going to have consequences later on, which is good. All right. How do I mark that I'm informed? Um, it's the, you'd mark it on here. There's. Oh, okay. So we would just check that off. So. All right. Remember, so, we're informed. So this is complete. Our quest. So we've gotten four. Right. There's four. Yes, there's four. Yeah. So that's cool. And then you did you get the rest of the stuff? I did. I grabbed okay. the 40 go. That's all I got, right? Did I get any Uh No, you did. You got, or no, you got two heads. Oh, 24. and two heads. Uh, one copy and uh, two heads. So yeah, you got a whole bunch of loot. Okay. All right. And that was your actions. And that's everybody. So that is the end of the round. So we'll get our tokens back. And then it'll move into the next round. So this will move up. That moves two. Uh, we have this one will attack and convert. So it's got two hit points left. And then we have the snowy roads. Uh, movement actions cost two action points. Are and we're we, not allowed to stream. Are we in green? Uh, no, we're back in yellow because it moved up two. Oh, joy. Yeah. All right, and then we would go ahead and start a new round. So I think we're going to take a round off camera, and then we'll be back. All right, so we're back for the exploration phase. So this is the second part of the game. So once you have met the requirements of the adventure phase, that's when you're going to move into this. And again, each one of these is going to have a narrative to it so that you can read through and find out what's going on. So we have entered into this village, and we're trying to find the fortress that's at the end of this so we're just getting into it now we need to kind of move around and explore and find out what's going on we have three houses here that we have objectives on that we don't know what they're going to do we were lucky enough to finish off one of the missions that gave us the informed ability yeah. so at the beginning of this as the scenario instructs us we get to choose one of these locations to reveal before the before we start uh, moving into the mission itself so tam you were the one that um completed that mission so why don't we let you select our randomized token i'm just noticing that the that you said village and i'm like oh it is a village yeah <laughs> <laughs> so which which token you want um <laughs> jeez that one. That one? All right. It is B. So each one oh, of these shoot. is going to have an entry in it. So let's see what we find here. You hear crying coming from inside the house. As you peek through the door, you see a little girl curled up in the corner of the room. My mommy went to the cemetery and hasn't come back, she says with sobs. If you find her, can you give her this doll so she knows that I want her to come back? So with that, we're going to place an interaction point on the right here. So this is will be interaction point G. And the character will carry the girl's doll. There you're, so you're going to take token B and just give it to one of your characters of your choice since this is an act, we're actually interacting with this. Um, it does not take up a space on your inventory. All right. So that it will, does take up a space. It does not. Okay. All right, so that is the initial setup. So then we're going to move into the, the round. So there's a number of steps that are handled each round. The first is we're going to reveal an Oracle card. 
and it's a green one. So depending upon the Oracle card that is revealed, you'll have two different event sets that are going to be hidden. You'll have the red set, which is going to be bad for us, and the green set, which might be beneficial to us. Now, you say that, but we've already experienced in the last one that red isn't actually very bad. It could be very good, and the green one would turn Possibly. out bad last time. So, yeah, so we'll I see. think the game tricks us. All right, so this one is a farmer seeing that his village is being helped throws an object at the characters. Place a random object next to house D. So we'll go ahead and draw an object from the market deck and find out what we get here. We have the Fireflies amulets. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little too advanced for us, but it is worth a good amount of gold, so we could potentially sell it later on. Or once as we play through, we might be able to use it at a later point. If as we, we survive. Upgrade. Yes, that is the key, is if we survive. All right, so from there, then it's going to move to divide, or making up our initiative. So we'll have one initiative card for each one of our characters and then one for each of the enemies that is on the board. We'll go ahead and randomize this, shuffle this up, and place these out. And then once they're out, then we'll reveal them. So we have blue first, then our monk, archer, Huh. Samurai, green, and then our ninja. So then the last step is that we can choose two characters to flip positions. So I don't know, I'm thinking maybe the monk and the ninja have our, our, our ninja. Sounds first. good. Okay. So we'll go ahead and flip those around. Uh, from there, then, we are going to move into the round itself where we're going to activate. Again, we're going to follow that initiative track. So our blue enemy is going to go first. She is going to, each of the enemy types is going to have two different stances. There'll be a regular stance and aggressive, and that's going to be based on the Oracle Spark card. So I do have a question. Sure. So Akira mm -hmm. has six cents. Now normally we'd before our activation we would roll our blue dice, correct? Uh, it uh, during our first activation, and then we would set those out accordingly. Yes. With his ability, uh, his ability with six cents, it also has once per round before any activation occurs. I could modify my position and in initiative by one space. Correct, but you'd have to have a die there, so that'll have to be after this first round. So it would have to go through... Okay. Yeah, so during the second round on, if you have that one selected, then you can. Okay. Just curious, I just saw that, and I was like, well, that seems interesting. You could do it per round, but it's yeah. not necessary per round. And then the last thing we do have to handle is at the beginning of the exploration phase, uh, each one of our characters can heal three wounds. So you do oh. have a couple characters that took a little bit of damage, so you get to bring back. it back up to their starting health, it looks like. Yep. All right. Perfect. So we're ready to move on to our blue enemy here. So again, we have the two different options um, or two different stance types. You have the regular and the aggressive, again, based on the spark. So right now we have a green spark, which is good for us. So she's going to use her regular stance. So then we're going to roll the orange die and we'll figure out what she does. It's a one. So she is going to, we're going to go right down the list and see which one of these is going to be true. And then we'll carry that out. So this one is going to have her move to be an adjacent to an enemy. And then she's going to perform the evil flash. So she has a movement of four. So she can get next to an enemy. So one, two, three, four. So she could get next to any of those three, it looks like. So then she's going to go off of whoever has the lowest um, diplomacy out of us. So my archer doesn't have any. Neither does my ninja. Okay. So, Atari doesn't either. So. Okay, so then after that, then it would be our choice to, uh, as, uh, as to who she's going to go after. Um, I mm -hmm. do have a little bit better armor. Yeah. So I could potentially take it. And you have a little bit better health too, it looks like. But if she does, if she deals damage, she is going to cause blood. Do we have to go that way? I mean, is it an option to go ahead and just still pick a character willingly to take it? it we can if it's tied for for the only attributes. in that situation. Yeah. Otherwise, we still have to follow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then never mind. And then I guess Tomo would be in a better position overall. It looks like potentially, yeah. She if she as long as she doesn't take any damage, she takes damage, then she's going to be blind for the round. Oh, which I am. You immune are immune to. to. So it's it's kind of a trade off, but. 
One, two, three, and four. Or actually, she's she is technically she she has strife, so she can move through obstacles. So she would probably be able to, but he has stuff yeah, anyway. So it still so. ends up being either yeah. Tomo or Hattori. So one, two, three. We'll put her well, there. I and... think Hattori might be better ultimately because it seems like worst case scenario, the blindness would be the bad part. All right. Right. Are you sure. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay, so then that's her dice pool that she's going to roll. So four, four. hits. So you're going to take one. But then you are I have no blind the blind. Yep. All right, uh, so that will finish her activation. So then it's going to move over to us, so you get to go with the Tori. So I'll roll, roll, I'll roll these. Yep. Right. Six and four, and he's got. And then you can choose to place those in skills. I think or just the one. It looks like because you yeah. have three I have of the three same attack. type, so you have three attack skills. So you're only allowed to place a die in one of those yep. each round. So I'll set that there. Okay. So those are your reserve. All right. And then, so that particular one lets you perform two fast attacks. Right. And normally, you can only perform one, fa uh, one attack type per turn, whether it's one of your skills that you have for attacks a basic attack or your cami's attack or if you have other types of abilities as well you're only allowed to do one attack and one movement per turn all right so from, um from there what do you want to do i'm gonna slap her because she, she already hurt me a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and do my okay you're gonna use your skill claws okay. yeah i'm gonna use the double all right so the first one will be one action purple White and green. Yeah. So I'm not going to even move. Okay. I also still have that sanctuary curse thing oh, in okay. place. But that's for an event. So, so you got three, three. You did trigger your yin Four, yin. five, and six. Okay. And she has three defense and no armor. So she's going to soak three, but she will take three damage from that okay and i guess i will do it again all right my... big numbers one so two three, three. And you'll add four five two. so it's right, two more to four. her so she's up to five wait one two three four five yeah you weren't six. able to do the yin yang oh but i didn't get the yin you're right yep yep so that is that okay so then that will unless you want to do anything else you have one action left did you want to move or anything yeah okay i'll go there uh or am I this is impassable oh okay well i was on the roof i'm a ninja that I'm was true yeah it makes sense there okay all right, then it goes over to Tomo Ninja. to go. Um, I think uh, I want to be close to you guys because I want to be able to trigger that stuff. So first let's roll. Oof, that was a rough roll. So I'm going to go ahead and activate her teamwork. So other allies that are within two spaces add a hit to their attacks. And I'll go ahead and throw this one into Divine Arrow because that's going to go away at the end of the round anyways. Um, and then I'll go ahead and spend my actions. So I'm going to go ahead and spend my first one to move over here. I want to keep close to you guys, but I don't want to necessarily be right next to her. I want to spend two actions to make a... Uh, heavy attack. So this one's going to get me a green, a purple, and a red. And I did get my yin yang symbol, so I get to re-roll one die. So I'm going to re-roll that red die and hopefully get a little bit more. Round and round it goes. Well, I got one extra hit, so that's four, five, six, and yep, six. So she's going to take three of that. So 
So we'll flip that for two. And add one more. So she's up to eight now. And she's got 12 hit points. These guys have a lot of hit points. All right, uh, that finishes off her turn. So then it's going to go over back to you. And then one mm. other attack that we haven't talked about yet is that you can make a focused attack where you're going to get to roll the black die and it's going to have different symbols that are going to come up where you can potentially crack an enemy's armor, being able to reduce their armor value. Uh, there's also a, a blank side, which if you roll, you miss your entire attack. Or there's also the pair of red eyes where an enemy will actually counterattack and your attack fails. So there is some risk to it, but then you can also, if you're going up against an enemy that has a lot of armor and defense, you can bypass that and just do straight damage depending upon what you roll if you get that bullseye. So that is an option as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So what you gonna do? She's only got a few hit points left. You might be able to finish her off if we get lucky. Oh, and you got to roll your dice too. Yeah, I'm just looking at. Hmm. Okay. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay. I have a Kami mode, mm -hmm. which is my basic attack becomes a straight line with four range, adding two additional attack. Yeah, so you won't be able to activate that until you're actually under half health. And then you get two rounds with that, and then you die. So help me with that real quick. How do you tell that I have to be at health, half health? Uh, it's just part of the um, the Kami mode that's in the uh, the rules. It'll, any anybody that, and you also have to have it all the way up to six. So Hatori could do it, Tomo can do it, and then Gotcha. Higuro can do it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I guess I would just simply go a fierce attack, I guess, on the blue Unreal. Okay. Right. So that's two, mm -hmm. right? Yep. You're rolling two greens in one. a red. Uh, two greens in red. I was just going to move this first. Okay. Two Oof. hits, three hits, and one for me as well for four, four so it's going to do one damage, so then I'll convert that, so she's got nine, okay, and then, do you want to move or anything, or? Hmm, no. I will just rest there at this point. All right, so you'll save that. So you're going to get four actions next turn then. Right. And then it'll go over to green to go next. So she is going to do... She's also going to do that where she moves and performs an evil flash. So she is the closest there. And she's going to get her purple... And she chooses the closest to... Closest to her. Range. Yeah, within range, yeah. Just an and an enemy versus all the enemy. So, again, she, I guess she would have the choice because she is close to both of us. Well, I'm just curious, is she able to just go smack dab in the middle of all of us? She could, um, but it doesn't it doesn't spe specify that she wants to be within, like, the range of all of us. So, it'll just be that she's going to move to be within range of her target. Yeah, I'm just curious because the last one moved in range to all four of us. Um, she did just because um, it was she was trying to get in range of the two targets. So, okay, because it's still based on the diplomacy or whatever, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna send her my way though. Yeah, I'm just looking to see. 
So she got five hits. She... So I stop four of it, but I do take one, which also means that I will have the blind effect. So that's going to affect me next round where I have to roll an extra die. And if I roll one through three, my entire attack fails. Blah. All right, so that'll be her turn. And then we're over to Karu. So I'm going to roll. All right, he was a little better. And I'll do, I'll add this one to Medicine Shadow, and I'll do this one down here at Heal. So I will spend his first action to trigger that ability, so I get to remove negative effects from an adjacent ally or yourself, and both of you heal based on the activated token, so I get to heal up to four, so I should heal four and clear one. So that is his first action. Second action, he will move. One, two, three. And I'll go ahead and attack for my last one. I have to do a quick attack, so it's just two purple dice. Okay. And I did get the ying ying, so I get to add one damage to that. So that's two, three, and she adds one, so. I was able to do a wound on there. All right, uh, that is everybody for the round. So at the end of the round, each one of our active dice is going to tick down one space. Any dice that go to zero are removed and placed in the exhausted section. And then each one of our characters that has a meditation uh, symbol or token in there can choose to remove one die to the exhausted side as well. Um, I think I'm good for the time being with these two. Did you, are you good? Or you want to do anything with any of your stuff? Well, this one I can't do because counter attack is pretty much three, yeah, right? toast, so you so can clear that one. that one. So that'll go down somewhere else so that you know that you that it's exhausted versus in your reserve. Gotcha. All right, uh, that is it for that stuff. So then we'll go ahead and gather these back up. And then we get to reveal a new card. It's another green. So we got lucky there with an extra green. So this one is a noise comes from house D when a window opens and a female looking figure shoots with a bow. Enemy closest to house D receives plus two white dice on their next roll. Oof, so it'll be green that will get that extra benefit, as she is the closest to House D, which is covered up by the Firefly emblem right now. And we'll go ahead and reveal. And then we can choose to rearrange two characters. I mean, that seems pretty good to me. What do you think? We can move any two characters, or just our characters? Just our characters. Mm. And then you do have the Sixth Sense switch, but you're actually first at this point. Unless you move out of first. To... Is there any benefit to shifting the Onryo well, uh, up the track at this point, or pushing it down the track? Just other than, you know, that we have the potential attack of killing first. it, yeah. So, I mean, what we could technically do is switch your guy with the monk. Right. And then you could use your ability to move forward one, kicking her down one more space. Right. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's that's our other option. I say we try that. Let's do that. Let's okay. push her back down. So then she'll just move down there. And then I'll go there. Okay. All right. So I think at this point we're going to take a few turns off camera. And we'll come back to see how our heroes are doing and seeing what kind of progress they've made. So. All right, so we're back at it. After a few rounds, our heroes were successful in clearing out that first area, and they have moved on. They made a choice. They could either go to the rice fields or the cemetery, so we chose to go to the rice fields. So there's a little bit of a story along with us that we're going to go through and find out what is happening in these poor rice fields. It looks like there's a lot of enemies bearing down on us. So unfortunately, the danger has been left behind. 
uh, has not been left behind. So as the scene before them is even more terrifying, surprisingly, or surprised, the four watched in horror what was happening before their eyes in the rice fields where a real hunt was taking place. Unfortunately, the prey were defenseless peasants who were trying unsuccessfully to save their lives. As they faced a whole legion of Kappas, fiercely led by none other than Anun, the said beast was a monstrous creature, a strained cross between an ape and a feline, with an intimidating tail that appeared to be a snake. Once again, the group's, the group's worth would be tested in an unimaginable way by enemies that far surpass them. So with that one, this the objective with this is to try to save as many villagers as possible and to defeat the Noon. Once the Noon is defeated, um, the remaining Kappas will flee immediately. Read the conclusion of the scenario. So with that out of the way, we can move into setting our initiative. So with this particular enemy, he is always going to start off as he is a chosen, he is the, uh, the Shogun's chosen, which means he's always going to start at the beginning of the initiative. So he won't even be shuffled in. He's always going to be the first one to go. Anui. And then uh, we do have to reveal an Oracle card. So, and it's green. So we got lucky there. We have the rice fields, green events. Uh, so this one is, one of the survivors plucks up the courage and attacks with a knife from his belt. A random pe peasant launches an attack against an adjacent enemy. So we can choose one of our peasants to make an attack against one of the Kappas. So which one do you think? Well, there's only two that they're adjacent to. Uh, Three. Th these guys here and then that one. So what do you think? Which one should we use? Um, let's have that one go against the green guy. Yeah. Right. Go ahead and roll two green dice, please. Can the peasant bring him down? He's got three hit points and two defense. Nope. He doesn't get past his defense. That was close. One more would have gotten it. All right. So we have blue. Peasant. Well, he tried. He had a, him, it was a dull night for that. Against a turtle demon. <laughs> yeah. Oof. All right, so then we can rearrange two of our characters. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Should we move him up and have the archer switch places? Yep. Okay. All right. So then it's going to, to move into the his turn first. So we're going to have him roll the die to determine what kind of attack he does. There is no separation with uh, the mini bosses, more or less. They just do the standard stuff. So a three is a bloody speed. This is going to target the character that has the highest uh, defense. And he's adjacent to you already. Uh, he's going to move to be adjacent to the maximum amount of characters and perform the snake's tail against one. So he's pretty much that's he's his he's, oh, yeah, he's the best get. he can do is two. Uh, if the attack deals damage, attack again with the snake's tail against another character, reducing damage by two. Repeat this sequence until uh, one uh, attack is unsuccessful. Um. So I'm assuming my Akira is the highest defense right now? Yeah. It's uh, between the two of them, but he um, he's already adjacent to you, and he's already adjacent to multiple characters, so I think he's going to stay there. And then um, if this attack deals damage, the target gets poisoned. All right, so he's going to use two purple, two green, and two whites. Whew. Whoa. Oh, that's a crack die. So, Pure three, hits. four, five, six, seven, eight attacks. All right, damage. So, you're going to block four of it. You'll take four and your poisons. And then, because that was successful. Then he's going to attack another character. 
uh, and then he's going to reduce his number of successes by two. So he's going to attack your ninja as well because he's adjacent to him. Again? Yep. But he's going to reduce the success, the number of successes by two. Alright, so he's got two, three, four, five. He reduces it by two, so three, and your defense is three, so blocked. no damage. So that will finish off his attack. And then it goes to the blue Kappa, who I think they target villagers first if they're able to, I believe. Uh, let's see here. Fresh blood. Kappas will always prioritize a villager as a target in case of a tie draw. Each attack will remove one point of resistance. So I don't think they necessarily have to roll. I think they're just an immediate hit. All right, uh, that will finish off blue. So then it's over to Hattori. I'm going against the new Nui. Okay. New. Yeah. I can only activate one of these, correct? Um, as long as you, yes, because they're all three of them are attacks. Yep. So if this attack deals damage, the target gets blind. Okay, that's that's good. I will go against the new E. Okay. I guess I would just use my fierce attack, which would trigger. I still have four, so I'll trigger that. Okay. Two green, a white, and a red. See if I can throw it back at him for all the damage he just did. And I do have teamwork as well still active, so you're going to get plus one plus damage. Plus one. Ying Yang. Yep, it activates. So I've got six, five, that's not, uh, shoot, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then the Ying Yang for twelve. Twelve. Nice. So he's got right. a... He has three defense, so that'll bring it down to nine, and he has no armor. So nine damage on him. That was a huge hit. Your katana was very successful. Oh, he carries a ninja tool, not a katana. Oh, is that what he has? Oh, he's a claws. Sorry about that. No, so, yeah, we've already got him down almost half hit points. And you said you caused blind? Yep. Wow. Powerful. All right. Uh, that was your... You still got a couple actions left. I do. to attack again, but... Should we be heading towards one of the peasants? Is that essentially what we should be trying to do? Um, well, basically, man, I, I didn't think he, that we were going to build a, you did, you were, that was an incredible shot. Um, but if we can bring him down, as soon as he's defeated, then the, the Kappa's run. Okay. So, I mean, I would say, you know, we should save the villagers, but with us having, with that such a, with such a successful attack, it might be worth it just to, you know, really kind of pound on him and. But I can't attack anymore with That's true. So I'm just curious whether I should run towards something. It, yeah, probably wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. Or to get around to another area of him or something, maybe. I don't know. At least having some options might be, I guess, good. Okay. Uh, I can't run through people, right? You can move through us. Um, you just can't move through enemies. His movement is one plus the three, so he's got four. I'll just move him here. Okay. That's my one action, and I have one left over again. Okay. So, yeah, you can just save it again just if carry you want it again. to. Yep. Or, yep. Then it's my turn with that. All right. So that'll finish off his turn over to... I have poison. Okay. So you're going to poison... And I need to reroll these, actually, too. So I, I should probably... I'll roll that down later. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's the second time he's had a terrible roll, hasn't it? Yeah. You can choose to spend two actions to, I think, re-roll those. So with poison, it's going to be minus one 
uh, hits. Didn't I have four? Minus one to all skill rolls. I thought I had four. Why do I have only three? Yeah, because you could throw the two. There were one of the ones and the two in there. And then I would just exhaust do this. the other one. Exhausted in general. I'd throw the two in there. Because then you can, at the end of the round, you can you can waste it. And that'll get you two in there at least. And then you can then you can spend the one next round. I can't round. do anything though. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like if you do this instead, this will tick down. This will go to exhaust. Then this will let you remove that. So you'll have two of these dice I'll gone just in the this. round. You can do that, yeah. That'll work too. Then you can hold that for a round. Well, that's what I was just thinking. If I put one out for both of them, they both would disappear. Yeah, but then you're still stuck with the two. That you'll have to place in there after that. I mean, either way, I probably, it probably doesn't matter overall. However you want to do it. All right, we'll just do what you said. Okay. You were saying this way, right? But yeah, because it'll tuck down anyways. Yep. Uh, but I want to do this because I don't really use defensive stance. You don't? That gives you the immunity. What gives me the immunity? Six cents. No, I'm saying that because I, I, this will be the one stuck on there still. I don't use defensive stance. So this will pop, these will pop open once this falls off. That I have a space open so that I can re-roll it, so I can fill those two spots. Well, up. you can't re-roll until all the dice are spent. That's why I was figuring you do the six cents so that it's, that's active at least. It is, oh yeah, I guess it does. Never mind, you're right. Okay. I got you now. All right, so what, what should we, what are you going to do? Um, I'm just gonna attack, I guess. All right. Um, I guess fierce. What does the poison do to me? Uh, poison's minus one. Um, hits and uh, and then when I think when an enemy attacks you, it's gonna do an additional damage. I'm gonna go fierce attack, and that's all I can do. All right. Did you want to try that focus attack since you got that reroll? Sure. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get maybe a. Bullseye or something. I have a reroll. Where? Am I half? Oh, reel out the string. Oof. That does what? So that's um, it's that's a hit armor, and it's an armor cracker. He doesn't have any armor, so that won't really help, but. So you could choose to reroll it if you want to, but if you get a bad result, then that's uh, then it's gonna then you're stuck with it. I'm stuck with it anyways. Yep. Okay, so you did three. Uh, he blocks that all anyways, right? Well, you yeah. did three plus you trigger that, but you didn't do enough wounds, and you did, and then I give you one as well. So you're gonna do one damage at least. So he's up to ten. Okay. Great. So that ends that, that was turn. Your two actions. You have one left. I'll just hold. I'll stay there. Okay. All right. Um, that'll take care I of think. his turn. So then the green's gonna go and attack. Orange will attack. Then it'll move over to our the monk to go. What's he gonna do? I could cure your poison. So I think I will do that. So I remove all negative effects and I also heal both of us by two health. Okay, so that was my first action, and second action, I will go ahead and move. One, two, three, I'll go there. And then my last action, I will go ahead and do a fast attack, which is two purple. Not expecting much out of this, but we'll see. 
Uh, I got the yin yang and one damage, mm. so that gives me two, three, two. and the archer gives me one. Yeah, because it's a white and black. So one more damage. Oh, is that what that, that okay. Yep. I thought physically it has to be colored. I didn't realize it was supposed to be the black and white color. Yeah, the zeros will count as well. Gotcha. So I got one on him. Okay. Um, and that finishes off his turn. Then the purple is going to go for one. And that leaves Tomo. my archer. Okay. Um, so... Might as well start off with a big attack. So I'm going to get green, purple, and red. And I could add poison to it. So I think I'll do that and add poison as well. As long as I'm successful. All right, so that's two hits, and I got the yin-yang, which lets me re-roll a die. I think I'll try to re-roll the red. And don't Four forget hits. This. Okay. So that's five, six, You're going to get the new seven. Lead? Yes. Don't forget, he's poised. don't forget he's blinded, too. Okay, yeah, when he attacks. Yep, next, next round. Um, so that's seven damage. He's going to soak three of it and take four more. So that'll flip that over and add another one. So he's up to three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and he's poisoned now. He's got all kinds of status effects on him. And blinded, blinded, right? Yep. Uh, so that's all three of her actions. So that will finish off her turn. Then at the end of the round, we have to tick down all of our stuff. She's going to go ahead and clear hers with her meditation. Uh, I think I'll do the same. That way I can roll all that over again. And then yours will also tick down. Those are... Oh, this one's uh, exhausted. That's still in your reserve. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, so that'll finish off the round. Time to shuffle up the initiative. Uh, new, yep, a new round will start. So these are all go back. I have an extra yes. one to... Eight. So let's see what we get here. It's another green. We got lucky with the greens. Um, so this is the peasants still standing overcome with overcome their fear and join the battle. All farmers launch an attack against the nearest enemy to green. So we're going to roll the farmers for each one of the guys now. Starting with uh, our first one. What am I rolling? Uh, two greens. For the farmers. Yep. Three. three, so that's going to do two wounds, or one wound, we'll do one wound to him. Okay, uh, next guy uh, for purple, purple Nothing. misses, and blue. <laughs> well, they were a little more successful this time, but not by much. But that's okay, we, we're getting, uh, our enemies are not aggressive at least, so that's a plus. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you guys are the strong ones, so you might as well go first with them. Um, well, so he's got to go first, right? He will, yes. Jeez. Okay. All right. So he'll activate first and so he's gonna roll his um, die to determine what he does so go ahead and roll that first and then we'll resolve the rest of the stuff here four so it's a four so that is phase shift first initiative um he's gonna and the first character in the initiative both perform an attack adding three hits uh, only the attack with the highest amount of hits is applied. If both have the same amount of hits, then both are applied. Okay, so it's a competition. So you're both going to roll an attack. So it'll be you and Hattori. They're going to roll. He's going to roll his purple, green, and white, plus his dive to determine if he's blinded or not. So go ahead and roll Wait, that first. Wait, Hattori is rolling against yeah. the Nui? Mm-hmm. 
So I gotta roll all these. Yep, the new he's rolling first. So which one am I rolling? All of it, because he uh, has the blind, so if he rolls a one through three, the entire attack fails. For him. He didn't. Alright, so we've got... What did he roll? He's got... Four hits. And he adds three to that, so he's got seven total. And then you're going to attack with your character to determine if you can outdo that. So you're going to get... That's with all my perks still. Yeah, I, I would say so. Okay. So you're going to get all your stuff. My fierce attack, I'm assuming? Yes. I would. I, that would be my guess. So you've got six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, and plus my... three for the his thing. So it's nope, twelve, two, eight, nine. Oh, sorry, Ninja. Yeah. I don't think I get her bonus though. Do I? No, no, I don't because I cleared it. So it's yep. eight. Um, so you still beat his attack. So you are going to be successful. Uh, only attack with the highest amount of damage is, is applied. Both have the same amounts, then both are applied. So yours is going to go through, dealing 5 damage to him, which will finish him off. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Yep, so that, that will take care of it. Wow, I like that. That was a good roll. All right. Hattori to the rescue. So he has been defeated, which means that all of the Kappas flee. And that might be it for this round. So let's see. I hope. Yeah, that'd that be was great. Not... That was a, that was impressive. Okay. Uh, conclusions only when the noon has been defeated. Uh, with the fight finally over and the beast annihilated, the villagers who seem to have been hiding there appears from the trapdoor inside the hut and immediately turns to his rescuers. We are indebted to you. It was a great victory, but more enemies will come. Hordes of creatures emerge every day from the bowels of the, the damned castle. I don't know how long we can hold out. Did you say castle? Akira says instantly, for he knew that there was that was their target. The fort where the spy was. Uh, where is it? How can we get there? If you follow the road to the south, you will soon see that it, it in the distance, replied the farmer. Then let us not lose a moment. Our new destination awaits us, said Tomo. And uh, count how many villager tiles are still on the board. So we have all five. We got lucky there. Um, so then five villagers alive. Villagers, thank you for saving their lives. As a token of gratitude, they give you some healing herbs. And you receive that you receive gratefully. They also give you a flask with a lethal, lethal poison against the uh, yokais. yokais and accompany you to the fortress walls to help one of the characters to climb for a surprise attack on the from the wall. Sweet. Um, then we have two characters can recover two hit points. Just your two. Um, Mark poison and surprise attack. So those will be check marks off on the next scenario. And then look at the scenario fortress and follow its instructions. All right. So we're going to go ahead and set that up. And then we'll be back and to see how the boss battle turns out against the blood oni. All right. So this is it. We are at the final boss, the blood oni. And he is a nasty customer. He has 31 hit points. And we have just six rounds in order to defeat him. Otherwise, we're going to lose the game. Now we did pick up a couple of things. We did have the surprise, so we get to choose a character to go up on the uh, wall. So we went ahead and chose the monk to do that. And then we also have a couple of points over here where the Oni is going to move to based on his cards. The first is the cauldron where he gets to drink his potion that's gonna make him a little stronger. But we do have poison that we can drop in there and that will damage him. So hopefully we'll get lucky with that. Other than that, uh, let's go ahead and find out what this uh, particular flavor text story is. The Fortress. Fortress. <laughs> <laughs> at last, they were at the castle. Their long journey had brought them to their destination. They were in the courtyard of the for fortress, the last obstacle they had to overcome to save the spy they were looking for. But a monstrous being blocked their way. 
a gigantic oni with red skin, welding a huge axe, with which he had undoubtedly claimed countless lives. Beware of the beast, the ninja shouted. He could split us in two with his weapon. Kwaba! <laughs> Look over there, Tomo interjected, pointing with one hand, a cannon and crossbows. Maybe we can use them against that creature. Little more could the companions say before being overwhelmed by the situation. With a thunderous roar, the Oni launched itself at them at a run, more than ready to tear them to pieces. Once again, the die was cast. All right. So our goal is to defeat him within six rounds to, to win. So we'll see what happens. Here, I'll take that. Go. All right. Um, so first off, the Oni is a chosen again, so he's always going to start on the top of the initiative. And then we do have a couple of other enemy types out there, so we're going to have to see how they work. In this particular scenario... Uh, there will not be an oracle deck. Instead, the Oni's cards themselves will have the color coding so we can determine what uh, stance the enemies are going to be in to handle. So let's see how our initiative cards come out. Hopefully we'll get some, some luck here. And some of our characters will come out on top here. Hey, there's your ninja and the monk. <laughs> wow. And the archer's dead last. That's, that, that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know what you're... That was pretty good, though. We got three of our characters in there. So do we want to rearrange anything? I think, actually, at this point, I mean... It would be nice to have the archer up there, but I think the, the monk is going to be critical with that cannon to start dropping the Oni's defense. Yep. So it almost might be worth having him go first. Sure. Perhaps, unless he fails. Yes, unless he unless he botches it. All right, so then, then it's gonna be a long, um, long fight. Yeah, <laughs> the Oni's gonna go first, so he's gonna flip over his first card, and we have Retribution. This is a red, so the enemies are gonna be in the aggressive stance after this. Uh, first, he's going to move to Token A and interact. So he's gonna move and he shoves enemies out of the way. So that'll move the enemy forward. Uh, and then that is going to be the potion. So let's see what happens with that. All right. So he's going to increase his anger by 1d3. So he's going to roll one purple die and increase his wrath by that amount. So go ahead and roll. One purple die? Yep. One purple die. One black. One black. So his wrath is up to two now. All right, so then he is going to move to within two spaces of another enemy standing on high ground. Oh, he won't be able to reach me. Uh, and he's going to attack. His attack deals plus two damage, and the target is placed adjacent to the Blood Oni on the ground floor. Um, so that one wouldn't apply. So the next one is to move to be at least within range and attack. Um, his movement is four, so he will be able to move to there so go ahead and one two three and then he'll attack he's moving towards high ground is that what you said um no the initial the first one was but he doesn't have uh he doesn't have the range to get to to me i'm um, the only one on high ground right now so he wouldn't so then he'd move down to the next one to do where he's going to move an attack all right, so then he's going to attack. He rolls a red, a purple, a green, and two whites. And... Did we, we did adjust all these, right? Mm-hmm. We did. I'm trying to remember if we, if we did drop everything down. Yeah, yep. All right, here we go. No good stuff, no good stuff. Uh, it's a sad thing that's cracked, but... How much did he roll? We have to choose our target, too. Five. Five damage, mm -hmm. and you want Akira to take it? Uh, sure. All right, so just one damage gets through. Let me make sure he doesn't have any other abilities here. 
Grudge every time the blood only receives a wound, he gains a wrath. For each token, add a damage and gain one resist or one uh, defense. Huge while moving across all crossed creatures are moved to an adjacent space of their choice. And growing hate. If the blood only draws an AI card with the hate trait, it remains active. Next hate card will use its empowered effect. To attacks in general? Uh, it's his defense. Okay. All right. Uh, so that was his turn. So then it moves over to us. So I am definitely going to fire that cannon. And with that, the cannon, a character will be able to interact with the cannon while adjacent to it. This attack will cause the only uh, 2D purple direct damage and will reduce uh, to zero all the, the uh, Oni's wrath and will also reduce his armor by two. So, all the purple? And the cannon can only be used once, so yes, two purple. One, two. All right. Good Come luck. on, purple. Hopefully Good we'll get luck, some, some damage. Hikaru. Two. two damage, so he gets two on him, and his armor drops by two, and his wrath goes down to zero. So now he's at two armor. Two armor, yep. <clears throat> okay. All right, so that was my first action. Uh, second action, I'm going to go ahead and move, since the cannon's done now. One, two, three. And if I could stride, I think I will. So I'm going to go ahead and double time it, basically. Try to get over there. And I, oh, I forgot to roll his stuff. So that's decent good. roll. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, and one, so I'll go ahead and do, do that. And add the. I'll do that one. All right. Um, that's the end of his turn, as he can't do anything else at this point. So that will finish off his turn. So over to Hattori. Well, you already know right off the bat what I'm going to do. Gonna, gonna try to him. smack him with a fierce attack. That's fair. That's that. And. Ooh. Wow. Destruction. We win. We win. It's all <laughs> over. <laughs> uh, he was up here, and this guy's down here. Yep, he shoved him down over there. Okay, so I get two green, a white, and a red. Making sure... Come on, yin yang. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got the yin yang. That's you good. You did? Yes, you did. Red did terrible for you. Oof. Oh, yeah. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, and he, he has two. two, so four. Two and then he has two defense. So, I guess he will get four. Oof. All right. Uh, what else do you want to do? I guess I will move. Okay. One, two, three. Um, can't tell where he's at. He's right here, right? He's in the... Yes. So I can go here. Yeah. Four. That ends that turn. So you were here. One, two, three. You'll be here. It's, he takes four, right? Yeah. Uh, one, one, two, three, three four. four. I can't remember there. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. All right. So that will. Or you got one action left. Is there anything else you want to nope. do? Nope. Uh, at this point, no. Okay. All right. Then it's over to Akira. Um. I guess I will just attack. You want to place that other die in there at least so that you can get rid of it. This oh, this one. one. Yeah. Um, you won't be able to probably do much with it, but. Okay, one defense depending on the activated. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do a fierce attack, I suppose. 
Okay. So again, two greens and a red. Oh, okay. ready for me to go. Did you want to use the um, focus, focus die? Yeah, because I can still do a relentless, right? Yeah, you might be able to get a armor crack in there or something. I did get nice. the armor crack. Very cool. Oops. There's that. And the yin yang. Which is if two plus more damage. Oh, we forgot to raise this thing too. So each, um, he's got a grudge that every time the, the blood only receives damage, he's going to gain a wrath up to maximum three for each token add a damage and he gains a defense. So he's actually at full because of that. Because you did three to him last, or two three to two. him. Two. Yeah, because it was a two. Okay. And this is... So if you wound him, you do a plus two, I think. Okay, so if wounded, it's... If or if you points. do two damage, then you, um, you'll you give him a uh, hemorrhage. Okay, so I need to do that, which is... So my question is, are we knocked down armor? Yes, so... Right? Yep, so he'll have one, one armor. One, two, three, four, five, six. And four. Four. So you'll do one damage at least so far. Uh, and don't I don't have my thing yet. So I did four. Uh five total, and he has four he has one armor and four defense currently. So he's up to that. One damage. Mm -hmm. So I didn't do anything. Okay. So he's not hemorrhaged. Yeah, not yet. And so sorry, I did that. One, two, three. If he's out there, he's gonna move over there. Or you could. Um, Let's see. That's one, two, three. Maybe I should sit here. I say, if you could get close to that cauldron, you could poison it. Two, three, four. Why can't I run the other way? Nope. So the best way is one, two, three, four. Be right here. Um, well, you won't be able to go across his areas. Because you were here, right? So you can go one, one two, two, three, three. and you have to go there before. Okay. All right. Uh, you have one action remaining. Is there anything else you want to do? I don't I don't think so I mean I can't do anything else right I can only do move once mm -hmm. can I exert or whatever uh, no because you've already done a fierce attack otherwise um, okay so then no, then I am that is all that I have all right so you'll save that for next round yep all right so then we have our green character is gonna go he is going to be on the aggressive stance, so can you roll a d6, and we'll see what he does. It's a 6, so he is going to target the uh, the enemy that has uh, armor, most armor, and he's gonna, he is rolling the black die with it. First, he's going to perform a katana attack against all adjacent enemies, reduced, reducing that result by 2. He's not adjacent to any enemies, so then he's going to move up to three of an enemy and perform a cannon shot. So he'll move to th three spaces. So one, two. He can't cross over there. He could come down. And he then can't cross. One, he can't. two, three. So he would have range to her. I don't think enemies block line of sight, so he would have range to him. And it's going to go off of who has the highest armor, so it'll be her. He's going to roll a green and two whites and the black. And cannon shot is I add a white, so I'm going to have to roll another white, it looks like. If the attack does two plus damage, the target removes one armor. So there's two. That's a fail and an armor. And nothing. So two damage. So I'm going to reduce my armor by one because of this. And then no other damage gets through because uh, the rest of my armor soaks it. Okay. 
All right, so that takes care of him. Then we're on to this guy. These guys are next. So then go ahead and roll that orange die again. Let's see what they do. One's a one. All right, so he's going to perform Genjutsu. He's going to add a white. If the attack deals damage, immediately tries to overthrow. His unsuccessful target gets knocked down, so it's going to be against the person that has the most health. And that is the blue guy, so he's here. He has a range of one, so he's going to have to move, I believe. Akira has the most right now, I think. Yes, yeah, so he's going to have to move. So then it's going to be support, move to, a, to be adjacent to another one of those guys. Kachi. And a character. That's not possible. So he's going to move towards an enemy and perform slice them. So slice them is going to be an attack. If it deals two or more damage, target gains hemorrhage. So pretty much towards him. He's the closest enemy. And he's probably got the highest hit points right now. That too. does. Yep. So it's going to be purple, green, and white. Or wait, no, just purple and green. The other one is the one that got the extra. Three, not enough to get through, so no damage there. Red is going to be next. Pretty much, uh, then go ahead and roll at the orange die to see what he does. Probably going to be... Same yeah, thing. Pretty much going to be the same thing. So he's going to move. One, two, and attack you. And two. nothing there either. Okay, so then it's going to be purple to go. So go ahead and roll for purple. See what he does. Four. Four. It's going to be here. So perform a katana against an adjacent enemy. He's not adjacent. So then he's going to move to three with an enemy and perform cannon shots. So he's already in range of him. So he'll go ahead and take a shot on him. It's going to be the green and two whites plus an additional white. You want to do it? You want me to do it? Uh, go ahead. Four hits, five hits. Okay, and then you also need to roll the black die. Oh, I'm gonna fix that. Oh, nothing. nothing. So the attack misses. Yep. Sweet. Sweet. No damage. Good, because that was bad. Yeah, that was. <laughs> but Monk was gonna get blasted in the butt. Yeah. All right, so that finishes off uh, his turn. So then it's over to my archer to go. So she's going to roll. Oh. So she's going to go teamwork. And she'll throw that in there to get rid of that. Okay. Um, so I might as well do a fierce attack. So I'm going to get a green, purple, and red. And I'm going to go ahead and try focus. Let's see if I get lucky here. See if I can crack that last piece of armor. I do. So that'll take. And you also get to uh, be anything there. So we roll that if you want, but. Oh, yeah, I did. Um, I'm going to reroll the red. That there we go. Better. So that's six. six, seven. He soaks five of it, so two get through. So we've got him up to seven damage now. And his armor's gone. And his armor is gone, so he has no armor at this point. So that's completely gone. So we just need to drop his uh, wrath by getting the guy over to the crossbow, and that will take care of that. All right, so next round, so round two. We'll shuffle this stuff up. We get our actions back. We also have to take our uh, mark our dice down. Okay, well, I think at this point we're going to take a couple turns off camera, and we'll be back in a little bit to just see how our Oni's doing. Maybe we'll be able to bring him down. We'll find out how things go. We'll be back. All right, so we're back at it. We've been able to whittle down very slowly the Oni's hit points, so he's at 28 right now. We've got him hemorrhaging and poisoned, and uh, we're into, this is round five, so we're getting happy. close to the end here. If we can get a couple more points on him, we'll have him finished off. We have a couple characters that are also 
hurting kind of kind of bad. Yep. So, all right, let's go ahead and go ahead and move in and see what our initiative is here. Ninja. Ooh, monk. Ooh. It's almost good. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Do we want to rearrange anything? I'd probably say okay, just we'll leave off it there. All right, so the Oni's going to activate next. So he has hate. This is a, the green hate, though, so that's good. Not quite as much as the red hate. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to move to be adjacent uh, to and perform an attack using the black die plus his attack value. Uh, if it deals damage... Uh, deals wounds, the target cannot use the Kami skills for this round. All right. Um, so we, he's going to choose one of us to go after. Uh, probably be her with the armor. And then he's going to roll a red, a purple, green, and two whites. So he's poisoned. Right. Yes. I have to add uh, damage to him. So we're actually with so we're at 29. So we have two more. He has two more hit points. And he does uh, lose one hit due to the poison, so one success will go away. All right, so bad, he's going to crack my armor. Bad. It's all gone. Okay. And then he does what? Five. Five. And he'll lose one from poison. So four. So four, I take two. All right, so then he's done. So then it's over to our ninja, Hitori. What you doing? How far am I? The stair are the uh, things over there. So you have to go one. One, two, three, four. I can do the five, six. Yeah, and then you be able to do a, a five, small attack six, on green. Seven here? Oh, yeah. Yep. F4. Which, that that would put you adjacent to him. So, yeah, then you could, you could do a, a light attack. Yep, so that was about two. Yep. And then the last one for that, yep. Can I use all of that? If the attack deals damage, the target gets also blindness. Yeah, you could do that. So I'm going to also do that then. Okay. It's a light attack regardless, so. Sure. There's the purple. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, did I do that? It was this, these three here. Okay. You didn't trigger the one, two. If the yin yang would have been there, then yeah, you would have done three, one. Three, four, and Tomo. Yeah. That's five. Yep. And he's got five resistance or five defense because he's got the three wrath and the two. That's how we. No, he's back up. Anytime he takes Shoot. damage, he goes back up. So that's why these last couple hit points are going to be a little rough. If you would have had the yin yang, you would have done it. You would have gotten one more. You would yeah. have a wound on him, but you fell short. But I could technically do that, right? What's that? I can roll now, too. <laughs> roll away! <laughs> Get out of here. All right, so that was that. So then it goes to the monk. Um, I get to roll. Ooh, nice. Where was that earlier? Yeah, no kidding. So I'll do that and that one. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a heal. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. I This round, I was supposed to be able to add that back into this, right? Okay. Well, I, I can't. Never mind. No, I was wrong. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do a heal action, and I'll heal you for four. For which one? Uh, for this guy. Oh, thank you. Because you're adjacent to me. I'm like, so I can help bring you back. From the there, verge, sort of. Um, then I will go ahead and do an attack. I'll do a fierce attack and see if maybe I get lucky here. Lucky. I do get the yin yang, so that's plus one damage. So that's three, four, not enough. Five. Yep. Just he short again. Yeah. <laughs> Just close. So close. So close. No re rolls. Yep. All right, so he's done, and it's over to Akira. Do you have anything I could trade and use? 
Um, I have two minor armors. I'm next to... To repair. I'm next to your Hikaru. Yeah, not really. I have an extra... The Masakari there. Yeah. It's not, not much. Yep. All right. I guess I will do a fierce attack. Here. <laughs> I should have focused. I didn't. So, four, five. I give you one for that six. Six. He's going to soak five, but you get one through. So that puts him up to 30. And then also. It won't trigger oh, that because you're gonna do two. Gonna do two. Yeah. Well, we got we got one more hit point on him, so we've getting we're getting him down. Uh, do you have anything else to do, or is that it? As I'm staring. I don't think there's anything staring else. This is staring down the barrel of a gun. So close. All right. So then, uh, Green's gonna go. He is going to do his regular action. So he's gonna perform a katana attack. Which is going to add one hit to it, and he's going after Tome. So there's two, three, four. She can soak two, so she'll take two damage. Oof, getting close. Then purple goes. Purple's way up top there. So he is not going to perform number one. This guy is going to move, though. To regroup? One, yeah. Two. Three. Can he cross that? That's an obstacle, right? Oh, no, it's not. Then the other guy is going to move. One, two, three. He's still not in range, so then he's going to do the regroup and recover. He does, And he, doesn't, he hasn't taken any damage yet. So that's all he can do. And then it's over to Tommy. Finish it off. Uh, we'll see. So, um, I got two. Um, are you next to anybody to trade anything? Um, You're not. No, I mean, I could trade the monk some armor if you want to try to heal armor or something. Well, I was just trying to see if I can give you something to help bolster yourself. But, uh, I got you. Can. Yeah. All right, here we go. Soon. Whoa, purple. Can you do your divine fire? Um, yeah, I could. Oh, there's six, seven. You said the last point we needed. That was it. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. And then he still sat in one of us and killed us anyway. Yeah. So yeah, he we finished him off. We he only had one one round left. So that was pretty that was pretty tight. I was almost done. You were he's, you were taking spent, some considerable yeah, damage. The last, he's just whomping on us. Yeah. And that the next attack would have been a, a, nas, a heavier attack. So They're red. Yeah. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Well, hopefully you found this video helpful in deciding whether or not this is one you want to back. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or swing by the main page and drop any questions you have there as well. I'm sure the creators would love to hear from you and are more than happy to answer any questions you have. As always, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.